Okay, bags and wags. And Jay, this video is for you. We um, took that big blue hose out of there, the pool vacuum hose out. And uh, I had put in this here refrigerator water hose. So these are where they come from. They come up from underneath the tank. Underneath, they come from the air conditioner sump. To these here, three hoses here. Those come from the drip, the condensate pan of the free, free air conditioner. And they're running around the mast here, like that. They go around the mast. And then they go down into this here uh, contraption down here. And all that says is three quarter inch pipe. I didn't have half inch pipe. I was gonna go to Home Depot and get some. Uh, but I said, nah, I ain't gonna make no trip for that. So all three of those, uh, the air conditioner, condensate tray or pan, whatever you want to call it, has three factory installed hose locations where you can install hoses. Most people just hook it up to one. And I've never seen one where it's hooked up to more than one. Personally, I would make the pans a little bit deeper and make a funnel out of them and uh, have them drain for the middle. Problem solved. So anyway, we took out the uh, the uh, blue hose, the uh, the uh, pool vacuum hose. Took it out and put in this three quarter inch PVC pipe that comes in here. You can see where it ends above the sump. This is the bilge, and then that there white line is the walls of the sump that is built into the boat from the factory. And it's fairly deep, I'll say maybe 18 inches deep. And uh, that there pickup shoe down there, pickup down there, for the, uh, goes to the uh, Jabsco diaphragm pump. And then from there it goes overboard. And there's our white PVC pipe that we just installed. Maybe a little drip for you, and you can see a drip. Just finished vacuuming it out with a vacuum cleaner. So it's empty now. And then uh, this here white hose here is supposed to go in there. Let me put it in there. I don't know where that hose comes from, but we'll figure it out one day. And then I need to stand up my little switch here for the uh, build pump. I'll leave that sitting there. I'll, I'll have a put a little thing where that hangs from the hangs from the top up here. I'll put a hanger there, and then this here little stick will hang there to keep it from uh, moving around to where it won't let the float float up and the and the water keeps building up. So anyway, that's the deal. There's that uh, the float switch for the build pump, and then that's the build pump there. Okay, this should dry out over the next three or four days. So that project is more or less done. I bought a um, little flow meter that measures the number of gallons you pump from a garden hose. And I'm going to uh, fill the uh, water tank. I've got it empty now. Uh, and that's it there. That's it there. It's empty. I've uh, been empty for maybe a few weeks. And uh, I'll have to flush it. Every time I pour industrial strength bleach in there, it bubbles a whole bunch. That was a joke, Jason. So we're going to clean it. And uh, that's a little bit of a data, data sheet from the boat, if you can read it. With that meter, I'll be able to measure exactly how many gallons I put in it. And uh, this is the original pumps. The boat's in 1994, I think. So we got some cleaning up here to do and stuff like that. And uh, life goes on, huh, Judy? I guess so. Yep, you got that right, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll take the boat out one day, huh? Yeah. When does Buddy end? I'm buddy. I'm buddy. I'm buddy. Yep. I'm buddy. Okay. Let's see if I can turn the flash off. 
I don't know how to turn the flash off. Okay, so the air conditioner is running, blowing air out. I got the fan on low. And uh, that's all for today, huh? I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn off the video. Then you do a stop.